Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here with Mojo's digging me some holes. I do have the cigar box guitar and the amplifier. And the thunder. We are out here in the middle of nowhere. I'm currently in the process of building another shed. This will be a shed slash cigar box guitar workshop slash um, I'll stash some of my firewood there. Speaking of fires, I do have the ring there. I'm going to light some of this salt cedar. This salt cedar here is an evasive species, so it has become one of the public enemies. So we're going to burn some of that. All right. So this video here, I'm going to concentrate on the natural miner. Now, some of you guys out there are going to go, oh, great, not another theory lesson, boring, and um, don't watch the video. But I want to encourage you, um, minor key is actually pretty cool. There's a time and a place for everything. Oh, check it out. It's golden hour. You can see the sun. You can see the sun popping out. And the thunder. Seriously, seriously there's a rain cloud right there. It is going to monsoon here on my fire here in just a little bit, so I need to get started. All right, before we get started, this video was inspired by two of my favorite YouTubers. One of them is Kevin from Modern Self-Reliance because he's always building stuff out of um, pallets and junk and using his chainsaw for everything. And so, and he's always got a fire going on. And then my other inspiration is Bjorn. I will put both of their links below this video. And the reason is because a number of things. Number one, both of these guys build fires in their video. And number two, they're both very, 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 very interesting um, individuals to follow. So go check those guys out. And anyhow, so right now is golden hour. And we're going to fire up the three string cigar box guitar. All right, so right off the bat, I am tuned E, B, E. All right, so in this video, disclaimer, you're going to hear my dog be digging a hole right on the other side of this camera. So he's going to come up and start growling and digging. So just, just ignore him, okay? He's just being a juvenile. All right, we are outdoors. Let's check with the Roland microcube. And the settings are straight up with no effects. All right, so this is the beginning part of this lesson. This is why it's called a, a, a natural minor. It's because it goes open, second fret, third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, eighth fret, tenth fret, twelfth fret. So backwards it's twelve, ten, eight, seven, Five, three, two, open. And you can also do those notes on the high string as well, okay? The same exact notes. Check out this note. He's just going for it. <laughs> All right, hey, so what makes this minor key so cool? is the note here on the third fret on both the low string and on the high string. Now you take that note, you can actually play it as a chord, even open, or you can do two fingers. to do is take this note here the high of the note here and just bend it just a little bit higher and we'll take this note here and bend it just a little bit down just a little bit
This is the way it sounds. many things to talk about here on this E minor. So the very first thing I want to talk about here is this note here on the third fret. You're just going to take that note and just bend it just a little bit, about that much. And then same thing on the high string, you take that note and you just bend it about, about that much. And then listen, and that's the note that you want, right? It's like the in-between note, just bend it up just a little bit. This way it sounds. <laughs> string so a lot of guitar players don't know that that's like a secret um, trick that good all the good guitar players do this but if you just if you're just going you could tell or maybe you just kind of do that or whatever but if you bend it to that exact hear it dude i'm telling you that's the secret sauce so that's what's cool about the minor key now the other thing is that you can make it a chord just by hitting that note and strumming it you don't have to bend it or nothing just just hit the chord and strum it i always like to pull it off and then if you can get both strings both the b string and the e string it's a minor seven chord great for jazz okay now what i like to do is take my ring finger and hammer it curl it over and get the fifth fret now this becomes like my home spot okay. All right, we're gonna take up from where we left off yesterday. Yesterday, remember the rain clouds? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they uh, they delivered. <laughs> so I ended up having to run for my life because uh, it came down. At first, I thought it was just gonna be a little trickle, but then it started raining pretty good. So fortunately, I had a tarp and a wheelbarrow. It's like covered everything up. Slightly muddy, but hey, that's how you get that tone, right? All right, so here we are in the greenhouse. And if it's not hot because of the fire, then it's hot because of the sun. All right, this, this thing is hot. Okay, so I wanted to show you some of these chords in the key of E minor. So the very first chord here we're gonna talk about is going to be actually E minor. And I use three fingers. Okay, so let me, let me di uh, first disclaimer here. Disclaimer, so open. We can call that E minor. And if I put my index finger here at the third fret, high string, we can call that E minor. If I put my index finger on the low string, third fret, that's also E minor. Now, if I do two fingers or two strings, the B string and the E string here at this third fret, that's E minor seven. And I like to hammer my middle finger to the middle string, actually my ring finger to the, to the middle string, get that. So this here would be like the first chord. Now I also like to put my pinky up here on the seventh fret. This might be a bit of a stretch, but all of these are E minor chords, okay? So 
this would be the, the one chord if you're talking about E minor. Now, I like to shift it down to this chord right here, and this is D. D is in dog. Now, you can also invert that by putting this finger here and this finger here. Whatever voicing you want. So that would be index on the two, middle finger on the middle string three, and the pinky on the high string five. Like I said, you can invert that however you like. So if this is D, if I move it down two frets, my index finger falls off the fretboard and I'm left with my pinky on the uh, third fret and my middle finger on the middle string first fret and then the high strings open. This is C. So I can do C. That's like a very, very common progression. So much fun you can have with that, and that's just the first three chords. Oh yeah, I did want to show you just a real quick trick. What makes the E minor so, like, or the minor scale so easy on a cigar box guitar here is because at this third fret, that's the minor, the minor third. Now you can take it and bend it just a little bit, just like what I call a quarter micro bend. And listen to the way it sounds. On the, on the low string, you can bend it down. Again, just a micro bend, just a very subtle, subtle bend. This is the way it sounds. It's a subtle thing, but what a cool trick is that? And that's what makes cigar box guitar and the minor key get along so well, is that little cheat note right there. All right, moving right along, I want to do the, the next chord up. So, so here's E minor. The next chord up is going to be a D sharp. I'm sorry, an F sharp minor 7 flat 5. Okay, that you don't have to remember that, minor 7 flat 5. I just call this like a diminished chord, okay? So this here is my index finger at the 5th fret, my middle finger, middle string 7th fret, and my ring finger, low string, 8th fret. So this is a diminished chord. The cool thing with diminished chords is that you can move them four frets at a time. And those are called inversions, and it's basically it's the same chord. So it doesn't matter where you play that, it's the same chord, technically. So that's actually in between the E minor and you can do that again you can invert these guys however you like that would be the one inversion the other inversion so if you do this version right here and move it up then this is the voicing here of the f sharp minor seven flat five or the diminished chord and now it takes me up to the major the first major chord in the key in this case here it's going to be g major so my index finger here is at the high string seventh fret my middle finger middle string 8th fret and my pinky the low string at the 10th fret so this is a G major now for you nerds out there this is called the relative major so the, the, the major here and this minor here are related in other words they share the same scale so the G major scale is the same as the E minor scale so that right there is that's on the test kids so you might want to you might want to memorize that so what i like to think of it is you have the minor here separated by this diminished chord in the middle to the major okay so let that sink in here's the the relative major you have this diminished chord that can be moved all over the place in the middle between the relative minor the relative minor diminished chord up to the major Okay, so, so listen to this idea here. So that middle 
cord. It's actually like a connector cord. It connects the major to the minor. So, guys, if you could just uh, pay attention on this stuff. I'm seriously, dude, it will transform your cigar box guitar playing. All right, enough of the teaching. Let's take a break for a little bit and do some jamming. Okay, so I'm going to just jam around with some of these ideas here. E minor-ish stuff. And I'm going to see how, how many mistakes I can do just by unedited, uncut version of me just goofing off. So I'm, ba I'm basically just practicing all my good mistakes right now. Now we're just going to do the remaining chords so here's the g chord up here at the seven eight and ten so if i take this one here and just keep on going up so i have my pinky at the 12 my middle finger here at the 10th middle string and my index finger on the eighth fret high string this is a minor so the a minor is above the g So if I take that chord and move it up two frets, it becomes B minor. So B minor, I have my index finger here at the 10th fret, middle finger, middle string, 12th fret, and pinky way up here at the top on the 14th fret. This would be B minor. Which takes us full roundabout to C. Remember how C was down here? Well, this is way up here after the double dot after the double dot everything repeats going up higher now this this fret, this guitar is a smaller scale so it doesn't have all the frets but that's as far as i can go so i went full circle i went from c d e minor f sharp minor seven flat five or diminished six. to the relative major g a minor, B minor, back up to C again. Uh, this is it's kind of cramped for me. All right, so there you have it. C, B minor, A minor, G major, F sharp minor, seven flat five, E minor, D, And then last but not least is the scale. Open, two, three, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve. That pattern repeats on the low string. All right, a quick tour of all my trash. But first up, I wanted to Eat a tomato. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. Okay. The fire is safe. We're good. The dog is keeping an eye on the fire. I just wanted to show you around real quick. Some of my junk 
I got a bunch of wire. Here's the sheet metal galvanized 16 footers for the roof. I disassembled a bunch of pallets into these long, uh, I think they're 10 foot sections. I have a couple more pallets underneath there I can use if I need to. This here is the paneling that's kind of clear. I can use that, I guess, on maybe on the sides if I want. Got a door that I salvaged from the junkyard. Bunch of miscellaneous random two by fours and whatnot. Over here, I do have some pretty nice beams and a couple of real nice 16 foot two by fours. And there's also some 10 foot other lengths. Some of the nice wood I have, if you want to call it nice. Over here, I have a stack of four by fours. Unfortunately, they're only eight foot. Resalvaged metal from buildings that we tore down. Here's a stack of two by six, and they are 10 foot length. So those might come in handy. Salvaged a bunch of bricks. And uh, that's pretty much it for all the good junk. Oh yeah, I do have one, one more thing I wanted to show you. This one here is my slag pile. I'm gonna burn that eventually. I've got huge stumps in there. Wood that I've been collecting for forever. Actually not forever, that's only about a month's worth of collection, but it seems like it's been forever. I wanted to show you these rails. Railroad rails, steel rails that we pulled up. We actually couldn't pull these up. We had to dig, 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 and then cut them with an acetylene torch. Extra bailing wire. I mean, there's, there's so many things that have been salvaged and scavenged. Um, the river runs right through there. And I've been busy trying to mow fields and try to make it look nice. It's it's definitely, definitely work. Let me see if I can call the dog. Mojo! Oh, he thinks I'm he thinks I'm in the garden. Nope. You can see him over there. See if he figures it out. Oh, he's got to jump over. Oh, he jumped. He jumped in, and now he can't jump out. Mojo! Over here! That was dumb. Now he's traipsing through my garden. And he's gonna smash everything. So the smart dog sometimes is the dumb dog. So I gotta go let him out of his prison cage because he jumped in and can't get out. I'm not sure I'm gonna spin the camera around. Here's Annabelle. Annabelle. How'd you get trapped in there, dog, huh? You thought I was in there and you jumped, and you jumped in. And then you found out that I was not in there. Now you're trapped. You can just go like this and then you're easily free. You're welcome. All right, me and my shadow are gonna head back up to the front, front porch. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so anyhow, whenever I upload these videos, dude, it takes hours to upload. Even if it's just a short little five, 10, 15 minute little video, it takes hours. The reason being is because of my internet connection out here it's just a joke oh my gosh dude it's like ridiculous i will um i will show you my internet connection here and you will have a greater understanding as to the levels of my difficulty mojo mojo he's the guard dog come here come here mojo Come say hi to the, come say hi to the, to the giddy gang. Mojo. Hi, Mojo. Good boy. Good boy. 
here's the back porch. We took off the existing, replaced all these beams, put a big beam, put a pitch, connected it to this little shed roof here. That was a flat, flat, now it's a uh, little shed roof. But I wanted to show you my internet connection. So this is the south side of the house. This is where it comes into the house. Plugs in right there. Goes to this box. Comes down out of this box. And then it just drooled out here on the ground. So I'm walking around the side of the house. goes through my front yard here. It takes a turn, starts heading north. And there's another little wad here. Okay, so this is where it's starting to get interesting. So here is the first splice. Okay, so I'm basically at the driveway of my front porch. America. So it goes through the splice, and it changes and goes into this black cord. Crosses my driveway, passes the water meter, goes up this pole, and gets spliced again. So now we come down orange, and now we're going through the neighbor's yard here. Notice how she's got like pretty flowers. Up to the next pole, and then it gets spliced again, and it goes back to black. And it goes over her driveway on black. Goes around this pole. And get spliced again. And goes under these weeds. Now we're just next to the sidewalk. Going down to the next house. And then here it goes into the telecom box. Okay, so that's why, so that's why my internet sucks. But, you have to admit, it is a beautiful, beautiful place. And one of my favorite things to do is harmonize. So what I'll do is I'll leave the top string alone. It'll be open. They call it a drone. I'll just drone it. And then I'll play the chords on the high two strings. you can do so 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 much you can do 
All right, guys, that's it for this E minor. Hope you have fun with that. Oh, and don't forget, go check out those links. I put it there at the bottom here. Uh, Kevin, Don, and Chris from Modern Self-Reliance. And then Bull Bjorn Hansen from Bull Hansen. All right. So both of these guys are inspirational. I think you will get a kick out of them. So we'll see you guys around. Take care.